Okay, <clears throat> in this problem, we want to find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the line 4x plus 3y equals 5 and goes through 2, 7. Now, when two lines are perpendicular, we know something about their slopes. They're what are called negative reciprocals or opposite reciprocals. So what we need is the slope of this first line, and we can find the slope of the line we're looking for. There's a few different ways we can find the slope, but an easy one is if we can solve this for y, because then we'll be in slope-intercept form, we can identify the slope really quickly. Recall that slope-intercept form looks like y equals mx plus b. So by having it y equals, we can identify the slope. So let's take this first equation and solve it for y. So first thing we might do is subtract 4x over to the other side. So that'll give us 3y equals negative 4x plus 5. Now we could write it 5 minus 4x and that'd be fine. I'm just keeping with our slope intercept form. So I subtracted 4x off of both sides. My next step is to divide by 3 and we've solved for y. Now remember what our goal was, it was just to identify the slope. So we see that this part here is negative 4x over 3. That would be the same thing as writing negative 4 thirds times x plus 5 thirds. And we actually, for this particular problem, don't even need to know this y-intercept. Basically all we need is this right here, because that's the slope of our original line. Now the slope of our line is what's called the negative reciprocal. So the slope of our line, what we do is we flip it and we change the sign. So instead of negative four-thirds, the slope of our line is positive three-fourths. Now that we know the slope, let's plug that into our slope-intercept form. Three-fourths x plus b. All we need is b and we're done. Once we know the slope, it's just a matter of plugging our point in to solve for b. Because we know that when y is 7 from this point, x has to be 2. So 3 fourths times 2 plus b is enough information to solve for b. So we have 7 equals we can think of this as 2 over 1 for multiplying fractions. So we have a 3 times a 2, which is a 6, and 4 times 1, which is 4, plus b. We can also reduce that to make this a little bit smaller fraction. So that's 3 halves plus b. It might be easier to convert the 7 to be in terms of halves as well. So multiply by a 2 over 2. So that's going to give us 7 times 2 is 14 over 2. So now we can subtract 3 halves from both sides. So we have 14 halves minus 3 halves. They'll cancel here. So 14 minus 3 is 11 because we have our common denominator. So 11 halves is our b. So our equation in slope-intercept form is y equals 3 fourths x plus 11 halves, and we're done.